Chair. Uh, my pleasure to follow the former, uh, previous speaker. But uh, I'm intrigued because I hear all the opposition spokesmen saying that they're not opposed to the idea of people paying back their loans and being obliged to pay back their loans, but it just, it just seems that they never happen to agree with any of the ideas put forward. Uh, and, and, and it seems to be that the, the, the approach of the Labour Party seems to be that if we ask, if we talk to people and we ask really, really nicely, then perhaps they might pay back their loans. Well, it doesn't work that way and it hasn't been working that way. And that is why this legislation has been brought in as a very last ditch measure if you have somebody, one of the 61,000 people overseas, New Zealanders, who have got loans, have left the country and are not paying back their loans, if, they, if, if, there's, if we've exhausted all other opportunities to get them to start paying back their loans, then this piece of legislation gives us the tools that we need. And do we really think that the hard-working uh, factory workers on modest ways wages should be paying taxes to pay for highly trained overseas people who are not uh, who have bunked with the cash and are not paying back their loans well then I think that's why the Labour Party are a bit out of touch uh, it was interesting to see also the previous speaker Mr Robinson suggesting that we brought that we do something about uh, uh, people uh, hiding their money in trust so that they could get student allowances well you know we actually passed legislation that broadened the definition of income for parents uh, for student loan allowances and for student loans and we have been doing that and we will continue to work in that area and it's a long slow process because it does take and it will take decades for New Zealanders to wean themselves off this entitlement culture that has developed that somehow that that that, that everything that that, that every solution to every problem we've got in this country is that we just need more money. And Mr Robinson was a perfect example of that in the previous speech. The solution to the problem is just more money. That's what we need to do, more money to spend on student allowances and student loans. Well, there is not necessarily endless supplies of more money. Uh, New Zealand has to fight its way and be competitive in a global world which is uh, competitive. And uh, we only get to spend... Uh, uh, resources on education and on tertiary education and supporting students if we have a strong economy. We only have a strong economy if we are disciplined about the way that we spend our money. And that is why this government has been successful uh, having a disciplined approach to spending, getting back to surplus and doing a good job and is why we continue to have the same levels of support that continue and is why Labour I think is struggling to get attention and traction because it's all about spending more. Uh, just dealing with some aspects of part two that I wanted to draw attention uh, of the House to, and that's uh, in terms of uh, uh, the new arrangements in terms of paying back uh, uh, loans. And you know, previously, yes, we do have overseas-based borrowers' repayment obligations being based on their loan balance, while New Zealand-based borrowers' obligations are based on income. And... <laughs> And I don't want to uh, confuse the opposition of, uh, by dealing with the mathematics, because uh, I'm not sure that not all of them are so good at mathematics. But what I would say is that uh, if, 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 if there was a perfect way of figuring out what uh, overseas income, uh, w the income of overseas people were, then that would be a sensible way of doing it. But there is no practical way of doing that, and so the loan balance is what we're using here. And this bill extends that. At the moment, um, it was only after earning 30, um, a balance over 45,000 was the, the limit. It had, ob uh, sorry, the balance of over 30,000 had obligation to pay 3,000 a year. Now that obligation for loans between 45,000 and 60,000 will pay 4,000 a year or 5,000 a year respectively. And if people in, on the other side think that New Zealanders who have a loan of more than $60,000 that they haven't paid back to their fellow New Zealanders, it's unreasonable to ask that they start paying back that money, then I think they've got a serious problem. And thank you, Mr. Uh, David Clark. Uh, 